Hi everybody, D Halleck X7 here from Connect, obviously, because you're watching me on Connect. I thought I would show a quick little video on how to make low point hummus. I posted the recipe a bunch of times, but I got a text message from my wife that we need to make hummus for Rachel because it's one of the only things she's guaranteed to eat and she's going through a toddler I don't want to eat phase right now. So I figured I'd make a little video because the kids are in school. It's glorious. This is day three and I love it. So I have time to do stuff like this. Um, this is really, really simple for you folks who like hummus, but you know, going and buying the Sabra and all that stuff. One, it's high point, And two, it gets expensive because, you know, it's good. Um, this is pretty simple. And take it from this half Middle Eastern guy, it's good. My family would string me up by my toes if they saw how I was making this, but it's good. And especially for if you are um, you know, willing to make sacrifice on a tiny little bit of authentic flavor in order to lose weight, which let me see. Yeah, okay. Um, it's worth the sacrifice. So we are going to start with two cans of chickpeas, garbanzo beans. And we are going to take the two 15 ounce cans, put them in a colander trainer, and just dump them in, let the juice flow out into a bowl, and then we're gonna rinse these off because we don't want all the super briny beany flavor on it. If we want any, we're gonna add it with the juice. So we rinse these off, and this is how simple this all comes together. We are going to use a food processor. You can use a large blender if you want. That's what my dad always did. So we are going to pour in our two cans worth of rinsed garbanzo beans. Simple so far. And this is the only ingredient that is an uh, interesting one, you guys. Most of you won't have in your cupboard and you'll have to go to the store and buy it. This is tahini. This is ground up sesame paste. This is one of the things that gives hummus its you know, unique flavor. Um, you can find this in the exotic aisle or whatever of your grocery store, ask them where the tahini is. Um, depending on your store, it might be expensive, um, like eight, nine bucks if it's Vons or Albertsons, or $2 if you go to a little local, you know, Armenian or Middle Eastern um, grocery store. Pretty darn cheap there. But if you think about how many batches of four cups worth of hummus you get out of this container, definitely a lot cheaper than going and buying store-bought hummus. So we are going to use three tablespoons of this. Most traditional recipes, you use a lot more of the, uh, of the tahini, and you also use a lot of olive oil. We are Weight Watcher fine. My new word. Weight Watcher affine uh, the recipe from traditional to where we can have it and it's low point. Typically, when you go on a website, um, I won't say names of the popular Weight Watchers websites because that would be rude. If you go on some of those popular ones, yeah, they'll give you low point hummus, but it's still high point hummus. Um, you know, a serving size is not two tablespoons, sorry. That's one pita, pretty much. So, this one will be, uh, what is it? I believe it's one point for a quarter cup, and that's much more realistic of a serving size. And so, pretty much, we are going to use three tablespoons of tahini, a third of a cup uh, you can use Greek, but I prefer plain fat-free yogurt because it's more, you know, liquidy, runny. It more resembles the consistency of oil versus Greek, which more closely resembles the consistency of drywall spackle. And then five cloves of garlic. I like my hummus to where it will uh, make vampires stay off my property. So that's where we're going with that. One teaspoon, you can add less if you want, of salt. And 
one teaspoon, we just want the flavor. Normally it would be like a quarter cup of olive oil. We're using just a teaspoon of it because we just want a hint of the flavor without a billion points. And what is it? See, I have it written down because I can't remember this off the top of my head. A quarter cup of lemon juice and two teaspoons of ground cumin. I know some of you are going, what, cumin? My dad, Lebanese, they never used cumin, but I like it. A lot of the other Middle Eastern countries that uh, make hummus, they use cumin. And a quarter cup of lemon juice. And three tablespoons of water. And two tablespoons of the reserved garbanzo bean liquid. You can add more if you want. You can use this in place of the uh, three tablespoons of water I added, but that gives it more of a kind of a beany flavor, which I don't like, but it might be your personal preference. And so here is the hard part. Very, very difficult part about making hummus. People are watching. And if you need to add a little bit more liquid to help it get creamy, you can do that. Boom, done. That looks good. Pretty good match. It's that simple to make hummus. Super, super, super simple. And then you just put it in your contorner, your contorner, your container. Um, if you want a little bit more olive oil flavor, if you don't mind the points, you could sprinkle some extra virgin on top or spritz it with some olive oil flavored spray and then just sprinkle a tiny little bit of paprika just for look. Done. Hummus, fresher than the store, a whole heck of a lot cheaper. And this just made four cups worth, uh, each serving a quarter cup.